Oh, uh, and once again, we've walked around the room and talked to the dealers to find out some really, really interesting, cool pieces of numismatics they've brought for you, our coin television viewers. We have a lot of really cool things, so it's always hard to narrow it down. Uh, but this show is also a very good opportunity for us to show auction lots for our November auction. And so we have all the highlights out in a case here. We do have the lots for viewing as well. Uh, but one of the highlights in the case is this coin that I have in my hand, um, which is uh, gaining a lot of attention here at the show because it is a four escudos of the date 1732 made in Mexico. Uh, which is a very famous date for the first pillar dollars, but a lot of people don't realize that was also the first date for the gold coins too, the milled gold coins. And so it's very rare, and uh, this is a four escudos size, so that's a, generally a rarer denomination anyway. Uh, but this is also from the 1733 uh, Spanish fleet in uh, you know, the Keys of Florida. So um, it was effectively a time capsule. The coin missed out on centuries of wear and just sat on the, uh, the, the seabed and uh, looked nice for all those years. And now we have it, and it's in a slab, an NGC slab MS-60, which makes it the finest known. Uh, there is one other in the NGC census, and it's an AU-58. So this is definitely the finest. And even if you're not looking strictly at the grade, there are so many things about the coin that are exciting. It's lustrous, it's beautifully struck. Uh, the entire bust of the king, which is a, a very ornate wig, uh, every curl in his hair is visible, and it just due to the nature of the strike. So top coin in terms of condition and interest and rarity, and then also the, the way it was struck too. Exciting piece. We can't wait to see it sell. The thing that I like to collect the most is Mexican Hacienda tokens. And in Mexico, they would just like coal script in Virginia in, the, in this century in, in, in the US, the workers would be paid with tokens that could be used in the company store. And those are sometimes Mexican coins that are counterstamped with the name of the, the Hacienda, or sometimes they would issue their own tokens. I had one here that's, that's made of wood, and it's from Trancoso, which is a, a Hacienda, and it raised sheep, and the workers would be paid with these wooden tokens, which, uh, and it has a little cattle brand on it that, that is a representation of the Trancoso Hacienda, and it has, quite often has numbers on the back, which would refer to how many sheep that the workers had sheared, and they would be able to turn these tokens in later for either food or pay and, and, and some other kind of goods. How scarce is a wooden hacienda token? The Trancosa ones are, are fairly common, and they're not very expensive. Uh, they have other ones that were produced by other haciendas, which are much less common, uh, but there aren't that many collectors for them either, so they're, they're not really particularly rare or expensive. They're not particularly expensive. But they're kind of fun. Uh, I have hundreds of Hacienda tokens, and the uh, we'll probably never find out where they were actually associated with which which Haciendas. Some of them we can find, some we can research, but others we can't. What kind of value? Uh, for this is maybe ten dollars, eight or nine dollars. It's not very inexpensive at all. I have a couple of pieces I've selected. First. This is a um, eight real of Mexico with a bust of uh, Ferdinand VII, traditional bust. Uh, this coin is MS-64, but surprisingly enough, that is the highest ever graded specimen for the type. And this came from the famous Richard Listner collection, and this is the finest known. And it's just a superb coin with brilliant luster. It looks like the day that somebody took it off the press and put it away. It's absolutely brand new. Never been cleaned, it's just an original, brilliant piece. What kind of value? This coin is probably circa $4,000. Then, this is a Maximilian one peso. But it's not just a Maximilian one peso, this is a pattern. It's called the small letters, and this was the pattern for the original peso. And this is dated 1866. And it's MS-63, but if you look at that little blue dot there in the, uh, on the coin, that means it's also the finest ever graded. And uh, it's truly a rare coin. 
and most people never see it, or if it passes through their hands, they don't know the difference, and they think it's just a regular peso. I've bought a number of these over the years, as there were patterns that were sold as just regular pesos, and the difference is the letters, the little letters on this coin are smaller than the regular one, and at the turnication of the neck, the real one literally touches. On the pattern, there, it's the letters are smaller, it doesn't touch the neck. But this, again, is just a superb example of a great rarity. And this coin is about, about $6,000. Why was Maximilian's coinage so short-lived? Because his reign as emperor was short-lived. He came in in 66, was out by the by beginning of 68. He was already in a barrel of cognac, being shipped back to his mother. And uh, he gave each of his people in his firing squad, when they executed him, a Maximilian 20 peso gold piece, not to shoot him in the face so his mother would recognize him. They took the 20 pesos, they didn't follow directions. So I'll leave the rest of it up to you. But it's a very interesting story. He was a very interesting person, and not particular one that would, you could be heart rendered by his demise. He wasn't the nice guy. This piece is a piece that I acquired some time ago was going to put it in my collection, but you can't keep everything as a dealer, so it's for sale now. It is a Peruvian Ada Scudo gold coin of the King Ferdinand VII of Spain. Its uniqueness is that it's from the Cusco Mint, a branch mint. The coin was struck in 1824, right at the very end of the Spanish dominion in the area of Peru and surrounding areas. After that, of course, the independence comes, the Spaniards are thrown out politically. The coin remains as a relic of the era with a wonderful portrait of the king and the eight escudo um, hallmark. Uh, as we know, the escudos were gold, the reales were silver. And this is a fine example of a colonial escudo. What kind of value? The value of this coin is approximately $7,000. Now, I'd like to show you something modern. This is a set from the Mexico City Mint consisting of five gold coins. A one ounce, a half ounce, a quarter ounce, a tenth ounce, and a twentieth ounce. The denominations are called onzas. This is the onza, ounce in English, of the uh, gold coin with the effigy of the angel of Mexico, El Ángel, that's depicted on a variety of Mexican coins. And this being the modern one ounce, 2013 Mexico City Mint, a very, very short mintage. The back of the coin shows the Mexican eagle on the cactus devouring the snake, which is a symbol of Mexico found on many, many Mexican coins. All around the center are various eagles depicted on other Mexican coins from years ago. A very interesting piece, and the five-piece set is very, very short minage, approximately four or five hundred pieces, I believe, and its retail value is in the $5,000 area. The Caballito Peso was made in Mexico from 1910 to 1914. Uh, one of the most beautiful designs basically shows liberty on horseback. Do the spokes model thing? The book right here. <laughs> it's uh, for people that like world coins and Mexican <laughs> coins. It's one of the most popular issues out there because of the very strong graphic image. It shows liberty on horseback uh, set in front of a rising sun with the rays behind her. They're showing them the back too. Uh, we have a couple of coins here that are both very scarce. <laughs> Every series of coins has something that's a key date. The 1914 is the lowest mintage and the toughest to find, and that's why we call it a key date. Uh, we have here two in grade MS-63, and each coin has a little bit of a different appearance. You know, technical grading isn't always match eye appeal. Um, 
but these are absolutely beautiful coins. What kind of value? But these coins in this grade, MS63, have a value, retail value of about $6,000 each.